Okay, today we're gonna to show you how to set up and use uh, this specific uh, ice cream machine. So the first thing you'll need to do is, uh, everything that you'll need is gonna be in this bucket. Um, keep in mind that if you're going to be plugging this in um, somewhere that you need the extension cord, make sure you please use the extension cord that I provide. Um, and wherever you do plug it in, make sure that it's on its own dedicated circuit, not necessarily outlet. There'll be multiple outlets on one circuit but you need to have it on its own thing. If it's plugged into something that also is running the fridge, it's gonna be struggling to keep up. So um, I'm gonna be plugging it right here into this uh, counter. I know that this one is only running the microwave and the microwave won't be running at this time. So um, first we're gonna assemble everything. Um, you're gonna get your auger in this silicone rubber sleeve and you're gonna make sure that that's on. And the machine's unplugged so we don't accidentally turn it on while we're assembling it. And slide it in, and as you're putting it in, you're gonna keep twisting until you can feel it seat in. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take um, this face plate, and there's a little rubber gasket that goes with it as well, and there's a flat side. We wanna make sure the flat side is against um, the black face plate. Um, and make sure it's nice and seated in there. Once it's there, we're gonna bring it in, and you have to lift up the um, lever just a little bit, um, line up the holes, and slide it on. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get these uh, four knobs, um, and we're going to thread each one on, and it doesn't need to be super tight, we need it snug, um, but you don't want to over tighten it um, and strip the, the bolts. So once I kind of have them all snugged up, um, equally, then we can get going with the next step. So um, once that's on, and like I said, don't over tighten it. Um, we just need it to, to make a good seal with the, the back of the machine so we're not leaking. So we'll go back around and check all of them, make sure they're snug. Um, and then the last part is we're gonna get the drip tray and make sure the middle part inserts it and that just snaps in right there. Um, and so, now that that's all ready, we can go ahead and plug in the machine. And if it doesn't turn on automatically, there's a toggle switch, and this is the main power. Um, so we'll go ahead and turn that on. Um, and we mixed up some dull lick ahead of time. Um, and you can use whatever liquid that you're planning on using. Um, and we're just going to fill it right up in the hopper. <laughs> And we'll just let that fill in. And once that's in there, we can put the lid on uh, top of the hopper. And over, if you look closely at the screen, uh, there's a couple different buttons on here. Uh, if you hit the auto button, that's just gonna get it ready. Um, this percentage, sometimes the percentage button works uh, well to tell you when it's 100%. Uh, it's not really calculating anything other than based off of time, so don't worry too much about it. But in general, when it gets to 100%, um, your machine is going to be ready. Um, so we're going to let this, we're going to let this get cold, and then we'll uh, come back and we'll show you serving. Sort of